The new hard mode dungeons, they're out. People have been making teams. People have been farming. The question's going to be, and this is something that I've seen asked in the comments over and over again, what dungeon should you be farming? The factual information, the information derived from some of the top players in the game, giving a general breakdown. I think I've asked six players and they have quite different progression in this game they are all end game however end game is a rather large section of the game there are people who have completed everything and they only focused on platinum arena and they spend a lot of money and there are also players who don't really care about arena they're looking for a speed farming then there's the average end game player that can just complete all content but they're not quite speed farming all content in the game so we're going to talk about what you should be farming What up guys, it is Murder Inc. here. We are talking about the hard mode dungeons. The first thing I can tell you that is the consensus by every top player I talked about, whether they were huge spenders, mid spenders, all end game of course, the answer is going to be do not farm Fire Knight at all. Don't even touch it. That's why I haven't made a guide on it because it simply takes too long. If you're not farming any of these dungeons in at least a minute and 30 seconds if not faster it is simply not worth it that on top of there are much better places to farm and because if you really are end game the main focus from fire knight is going to be savage gear and as we all know attack based or damage based champions in general are scaled much much higher than defense based champions what am i trying to say by that you will always be able to one shot any defensive opponent no matter what if you pair one and one together synergy is the only difference that prevents a champion from getting one shot and it's the reason why people are stacking hp because stacking defense is going to be useless and to reiterate any damage dealing champion can one shot any support based champion if they're both in equal quality gear and they're trying to face off with each other as these specific roles here so with that being the case like i said the optimal way to get mythical savage gear since none of the other gear sets are going to really scale well is going to be unfortunately buying the packs from the shop the drop chances are so low from a place like fire knight where it's actually cheaper to buy mythical gear if they do appear in gear set packs which I don't see why they wouldn't it would follow the current trend here then trying to use the energy to get the specific pieces that are actually going to be upgrades for your account now one thing i have to clarify because i got tons of comments about this for the ice golem murder what do you mean by scaling apparently people don't understand the concept of scaling so i'm going to go over it very very quickly this is going to apply to every single dungeon in the entire game for the hard mode difficulty so when I say a gear set does not scale, that does not mean that you're not going to gain a benefit from the stats for the certain sets. I think one of the arguments was reflex gear scales like the best in the game. And then I said it didn't scale. And then I don't know, there was just this huge argument in that comment section and it was kind of stupid because I guess the people didn't understand it, which is why I'm explaining it here and now for you all. So when I say scaling, I mean you need an increased quality of gear to complete an increased difficulty of pretty much any content. So the fact that all content in this game that's currently out now can be done with epic quality gear from all of these niche sets is the definition of a set that does not scale well. It's not that you can't get way better mythical sets in literally every single gear set. That's the whole point of mythical gear. So every set technically scales but no one would ever think that's what i'm talking about the point is you don't need mythical gear to hit anywhere near the more than comfortable stat thresholds for any content you're doing like i said it can all be done with epic six star quality gear not even including legendary if you were lucky enough to get that so relentless gear and reflex gear for hydra regeneration gear for hydra all of these things will not scale well However, why does something like a Savage scale well? Why does Speed Gear scale well? Because 
Arena is the only thing where you're always competing against players, not the computer. So as the player's gear gets better, you as the opponent fighting other players have to keep trying to match that, making it a clear scaling value because the content in front of your eyes that you are competing in is directly scaling with the release of anything new that offers more power to the entire player base. So even with all of that being said, now that we've kind of gone off in a, a tangent here, we're going to head back to the main purpose of this video. What should you be farming? So in first place, we have the spider. This is where you should be doing the majority of your farming right now. Out of all the people I talked to, I took the averages of the kind of split in energy you should be using to farm. There were a lot of 80-20 being 80% spider, 20% dragon. And then there were quite a few 60-40 being 60% spider. 40% dragon. So I decided let's just split it right down the middle as far as 70% spider and 30% into the dragon. Why are we not too focused on the dragon dungeon? Well, I'm just going to show you an example. I don't really have to kind of explain this, but I figure I might as well. So we're going to click on our mythical setting here. And I even have some five star gear, but we have three, four, five, six. And that's it. We have six pieces total and I farmed probably around 60 to 70,000 energy so far. And only these pieces were kept because they did in fact roll pretty well. So the odds of you getting a good piece are going to be crazy low. I think we all understand that. And the fact that speed, while it does matter a little bit, it's not a crazy factor in any type of current arena meta at the moment there are still tons of improvement outside of mythical gear that we can make for gear sets specifically which is why the main focus is going to be accessories it's going to be much more common you can farm it way quicker and we're going to see here i think i probably put i don't know i want to say closer to a hundred thousand energy here and i only kept things that have the potential of being major major upgrades so we have 23 pieces out of a hundred thousand energy and while that may seem low it's actually not low at all why is it not low because i have very very good accessories probably the best part of my account would have to be the accessories the next thing to keep in mind how this entire idea popped up is because ascension for accessories isn't currently available so instead of having a stockpile of epic gear legendary gear you can now have mythical gear ready to be ascended to see if you can roll well on those mythical pieces if you can you hit the lottery if not i'm sorry you have to keep farming so let me just give you an example here i can just show you a few banners here we have triple rolls pretty much everywhere another triple roll just sitting inside my inventory not being used double attack roll triple defense rolls so we have tons of triples we have lots of quad rolls as well scattered across and and it typically i'm just going through the gear that i'm not using right now we have much much better gear that i have on these champions as we can see here for warlord another triple roll here and you kind of get the point it just goes down and down the line. So with all of that being said, it's very important for players that are considering farming these new dungeons. If you are in fact end game, that's what your split should be. You should be looking for 70% of your energy and focus into the spider to get those accessory upgrades and gamble for that chance at the mythical perfect gear that everyone wants and then 30 percent into the dragon and completely ignore ice golem as well as fire knight now if you are blessed and you are like late game mid game and just happen to have the best champions for some of these hard mode dungeons and you're able to get all the way up to stage 10 these are the people who are pretty much free to farm as they please, which is why the percentages were so different that I did talk to of all of the endgame players. Some of the endgame players had crazy, crazy fast champions, meaning very good speed gear, so they didn't prioritize dragon that high on top of their gear was already exceptional. However, the players who are earlier on into the endgame scene will not have crazy speed gear, so they will have much higher chances of getting an upgrade, not only from mythical gear like everyone else, but also legendary and epic gear as well. So taking it a step even further down here, 
if you are late game or mid game and like i said you happen to have the great champions to use that you can progress to a decently high level for the hard mode dungeons i would absolutely head into there use the five star mythical you get you have a much higher chance of getting that gear than the six star mythical gear and of course you will have a higher chance overall of getting the legendary and epic six star gear that you need for your champions even for those players i would highly recommend to ignore fire knight if you want to farm fire knight go straight to stage 25 the fact that you can farm at stage 25 in 45 seconds 50 seconds and then compare it to the ridiculous stat requirements you would need to even farm it in three minutes three minutes is way too long no one has the time to be doing that unless you're i guess free to play and you can only do like 10 runs a day if you're willing to spend 30 minutes more than like 35 minutes on 10 runs a day for the chance of never getting a mythical piece of gear for like a year then just go for it just know it's going to be a massive massive waste of time for sure however ice golem gear can be a little bit different while you wouldn't be necessarily farming ice golem gear if you have no reflex gear and you need resistance gear for some odd reason you could definitely head into the ice golem hard mode since it's a rather easy dungeon didn't even cover it in a dungeon guide i kind of made a general statement that you should not be farming this if you're end game but if you do happen to have the champions with hp burn and survivability to get through and farm it relatively quickly with food if possible to make it most efficient i would definitely say get that reflex gear use it for hydra and maybe gamble and get some really strong mythical pieces so that's going to be my breakdown and my advice on farming these hard mode dungeons. Get the runs as fast as possible. The spider is currently bugged as pretty much everyone by now should know. So the Trunda teams, the Hex teams, anything that's pretty much one-shotting the boss in 8 seconds, that's going to get fixed. So don't put too much stock into that right now. And just know that if it does stop working, it's because it was in fact hot fixed. There's a bug where double damage is being done to the boss with certain skills from champions as well as hex interactions with the spiderlings and the boss as well. So load up that energy, farm those bosses, get that mythical gear if you can in the dungeons that make sense for you you can definitely use this video as a guide for the best decision you can make for your account because as always every single account is going to be different that's going to conclude this video give me your thoughts what have you been farming what are you going to be farming and i'm sure there are people who are going to swear that they're eight nine seven six five four three minute fire night ten dungeon farming is going to be beneficial to them Please just save my eyes and your time. Don't comment about Fire Knight. You're not going to convince myself or any of the other top players in this game that it is worth any amount of time over a minute and 30 seconds. So if you enjoy this content, smash the like button, subscribe, turn the notification bell, and I will see you all in the next upload.